Hello. Actually, I'm busy with kind of live stream now, so maybe later. Hi Mavidis, thank you for joining. You have raised the level a lot, yeah, I'm kind of practicing, thank you. Okay, I'm just preparing colors right now what I need. So next one gonna be cobalt blue. A little bit of Prussian blue. Hi Rand, thank you for joining. Hi Dan also, thank you for coming today. I will try to paint all Canada today. I'm fine, thank you. What about you? Okay, so let's just prepare some colors. What we're gonna use for our mountain? It's great. So I will just prepare some tones what I will be using for our mountain and volcano over here. This combination of one day brown and rose again just to get some lighter color. Let's just put it away. I just use some black because you can see a lot of black over here. Black, brown, and I will add some white also on here. <laughs> Actually, forgot to put white on the palette, so I just left it here. Let's mix it together. It will give us some grayish color.
and put it on the side a little bit. Also I need more white and I will add raw sienna. I'm gonna use this color to lighter our mountain. bit black. Just want to make it a little bit darker. And put it here. And let's add more white into this. Also I couldn't find good reference photos, so what I want to do here, I want to put this volcano a little bit far, not so close as we can see in the photo, so I will just try maybe to make, to make it a little bit smaller, and I will try to use the same combination as I did with my mountain painting, as you remember I painted the peak of the mountain, there is another video, so I want to do something like this, I want to show this painting, this volcano, it's a little, a little bit far, not so close as we can see here, so I just mark it and probably I will add some additional details to our mountain. I will just use this Prussian blue for first layer, just to mark where we're gonna be our peak of the volcano. It's kind of going like this and it's covered area. So and let's do the light going from here. Just wanna mark this light with this bullet so it's going here the same as lava coming out from mostly from this side Hi Priyanshu, thank you for joining just noticed you came I want to try to paint all can actually I'm not sure where to put light maybe okay there is the shadow from this fire and small also so yeah, probably this one will be another side of the light gonna be better than this one so I'll just mark it so it's gonna be light over here this area this one will be our shadow area, but we can see some lava coming on this area, so I will think how better to divide it. We just mark some shadows. 
How are you doing today? So kind of like this. Also here is like some another mountain already. Hi Debangana, thank you for joining. I will paint some volcano today, but I wanna change a little bit design because I couldn't find good reference photo what I wanted to use. So I will just make my own idea, but looking on this reference photo, just to try achieve some similar similarity, I could say so. So I'm just doing main shapes and shadows area, just using this Prussian blue color. Just to mark for myself. It's here a little bit. And here. And here gonna be mostly our lava coming out. Especially in this area. And on this side just will be our skies and I think some stars maybe just some yeah, little stars and clouds over this or maybe I will not paint clouds I will just do some lighter sky anyway we're gonna see So let's just prepare our colors. I will use the same Prussian blue and I will add cobalt blue. I will use this color for our skies. Also I will add some white, just a little bit for lighter color. Looking forward to watch the wall painting. Thank you, the Bangana. Yeah, I hope it's gonna turn out great. Just hope so. Never painted a volcano yet, so decided to do some challenging works as well. Let's just see how it's gonna turn out. Okay, um, here we're gonna add darker blue on this area, probably until even here. And here gonna be a little bit lighter and here more lighter. So I can add more Prussian blue on this area. And on this area more cobalt blue. I will just add some more Prussian blue because I need to mix. So just mix more. And just add it on our board. Hi Kitchen Nick Bank, thank you for joining. I'm painting Volcano today. So I'm just dropping color what I'm gonna use. It's 
So I'm going to use the same blending brush that I used before already. And simply I'm going to blend these colors. Also I'm using an oil thinner that helps me to blend. And let's see how it's going to look like. Well, it's exactly what I need for dark sky. Maybe it's too dark, but anyway, I can fix it just adding white. Or I can add this cobalt blue on this area and just simply add a little bit more white in these areas and blend it again because here should be a little bit lighter in this area just one movement right and left right and left so our sky will look smooth So you can see it's important how you do your movements in painting because all these lines are gonna be visible and there are some rules how to paint. You can't simply paint like this because it's gonna be a little bit wrong. Okay, let's just add more white. I want to do this area a little bit lighter because here's going to be our lava coming out and it's better if it's a little bit lighter to get a more contrast what it's supposed to do so I'll just cover the rest area We just add more white. Even more white. And simply blend it. Anyway, just first layer, so not necessary to be so focused on it. But can add more white over here. Thank you Ray for coming. Yeah, first try to paint Volcano. I hope it's gonna turn out nice. Anyway, gonna see later. So just blending color right now. As I said before, I'm not following strict reference photo I'm just using it as an idea and do some kind of my own version take a little more white even more white on these lower areas just to show some air perspective over there And let's blend even more. And also we'll add some white on this area. And it will thinner. Just a little bit more oil thinner. And white again. So there is no like clouds 
like as we used to see clouds or shapes it's kind of thin clouds on this area so I think if I will just add it like this like white and some add some blending and it's gonna be okay so let's just blend a little bit more also can add some gray color what we have already and add white because some clouds they are a little bit grayish so we just add some gray on this area also can add it even in here in the lower part with more gray and white even more white on this left area can be added anyway I can edit after also so not necessary to put so much attention to it right now that's when it's gonna be dry a little bit can add again and I wanna do some lighter color over here something like this maybe let's just clean the brush Okay, let's just add those brown color to divide our mountain just basic lines what I supposed to paint I will blend it a little over here in this area here gonna be our light and also lava coming on hi Goldie thank you for joining I'm trying to paint some volcano today and I change a little bit our mountain because I don't want to follow full reference photo so I decided to change it a little and I will just do the simple lines to divide our shadows and light areas and let's see how it's gonna turn out ok 
see here definitely can be more darker as I marked it already with blue color so here we just can color it with this brown color also actually can add black on this area going up to here Also on this top, even in this area, hi Art of Chat, thank you for joining. divide more our darker spot and our lighter spots just adding same color just need to take a little bit larger brush I'll just mark our volcano over here we can use some lighter color this area a little bit larger brush and continue to add shadows just using this brown color here because here is I think the darker spot This area can add some lighter spot right and cover it. Just gonna use some more oil thinner, same as here, and adding this lighter brown what I mixed already. Just dropping first layers. And details will follow later. Plus also I have to add some red color and this like lava color. So anyway, some part will be covered. I 
Hi Creativa, thank you for joining. I just took more oil thinner and cover this area over here. I'm fine, thank you for asking. Yeah, I'm kind of trying to paint some volcano today. I change a little bit design because I don't want to follow this reference photo and I also want to show a little bit peak of the volcano because in reference photo it's not so peaky as you can see so I just change a little bit design also let just add some this grayish color on this area Even a little bit more. Because this area also will be covered with lava, so even if she light coming from here, this area also gonna be light because of this lava. But these colors are gonna be darker because of the shadows already. So let's just blend. I'm using same blender brush as before. So I just want to soften those edges a little bit and colors over here. to see how it's gonna look like. So, fixing some details. I'm gonna add some black on those shadow area what we can see especially here on the center so let me just add this simple black but anyway we can blend it after And also I'm gonna divide more. So it's gonna be some second layer of black. Just to show this shadows where sun, I mean sun, the light are not coming. Not from the moon and not from the lava as well. So 
So we're gonna show this some triangle really dark also going up to here and imagine that this area will be already lighter also wanna show it some more black here at the back of our mountain okay and I will add some lighter brown again and I will cover this area this lighter brown and I will blend it as well later so let's just add some more colors more paint on this area Also I can add this brown and some to show some shadows. Not black as I used here but brown because I wanna do it a little bit lighter. Just add more. Seems like we'll be doing just layer by layer, and that's it. And I can add some black over here on this area. And let's blend it again by using same blender brush. Right. So now we can see that this area is much lighter than this, not much but at least lighter than this. And I will try to drop these gray colors. Now I need to divide more. Okay. 
just a few seconds guys okay and after I have to mix also this red and yellow to make some kind of orange for these lava tones so let just drop some dark grey some additional spots as we can see over here just to divide our mountain even more than it is now Okay, thank you for joining and for your comment. I'm trying to paint Volcano today. It's a little bit challenging, I haven't done this before. So I'm well, just trying to catch up some colors and good vision over here. Just editing those gray colors on this area so let's just drop more on this area because I see it's kinda covered over here I never let some highlights after it. So we can add even more on this area. Also here. Just to show this gray spot. I'm going down on this area under so let's just blend it again to make it a little bit smoother So here and I will try to add some lighter gray to show some highlights areas plus anyway they're gonna be this lava. Anyway, let's just show some highlights over here. On this spot. And also here on this area. Just to divide our mountain a little bit more than we have now. Anyway, we'll blend these colors again. I just want to do some those kind of wrinkles on the mountains. Just mountain wrinkles, we can say so. Hello, Connor. Thank you for joining. Good afternoon for you too. just highlight some 
lower part of our mountain also and a little bit here in this area I want to do so we can add more gray and it's going up to here especially this area is kind of lighter a little bit already so we can simply add more this gray color So I will be just doing this layer by layer and let's see how it's gonna turn out because I wanna do some, as I said, wrinkles on those mountain and also as I said before I'm not following strict reference photo I wanna do some similar mountain as I did in my previous video it's called Peak of the Mountains I think you saw it already so I just like how mount mountains look over there and I want to do some peak and combination of this reference photo. So let's just smooth a little bit our edges again with simple blender brush as I used lately for my paintings. Just to show some lighter spot of this mountain and plus also blend color especially this area is almost gray Okay, kind of like this right now. So it looks lighter now as I want to, and I will try to use this lighter gray now just to highlight some lower part of the mountain. And also, again, as I said, I want to divide some lighter spot and darker spot. So let's just add more gray on these areas. Okay, and also this area can be lighter, just down below here, and all of this. Actually, I think I can use palette knife. I will blend it a little bit or maybe it's gonna be fine with brush and you anyway, have to experiment always to achieve a good result ok let's just continue with brush and see how it's gonna turn out so simply doing some it's kind of lying brush and just makes this movement down it it works like similar as a palette knife so I can add some more detail on this area 
We're gonna be fine. And to show some sharpness of our mountain. So they just add some more highlights. And can add also on uh, this area over here, kind of at the back a little bit. And then blend it again a little bit. Just to show highlights moments over here. And on this area I want to add more black because it looks like it's black and also can add black some on these parts to show some deepness. So definitely here I'm going to add black and on this area also just using my palette knife. Palette knife is perfect to do mountains actually. It gives some thickness and good texture also. So you can also experiment with palette knives giving good result. Even up to here can add some dark spot. Hi Babita Misha, thank you for joining. Hello comics, thank you for joining too. I'm trying some new ideas today to paint your canna have no idea how it's going to turn out but anyway if painting is not good you can just cover live stream and that's it <laughs> but I hope it's gonna be fine dude creative shift Thank you for joining too. So let's just drop some more black on some areas of our painting. Especially this one which is covered and also there in the back. As there is no light at all. Also, can you 
this lighter brown more on this area because here gonna be already lighter spot from our lava so definitely can use some lighter color close to the top Hi Vanessa, good morning, I think I could say so. <laughs> Thank you for joining. So I just add some more brown on this area. Also I have to be careful with thickness of layers because I have to add lava and I can get some mess over here. And also I wanna add those brown tones under our darker spot. So probably light can hit I mean can get over here. So they just do it with this brown color. And also can mix it already with underpainting what we have here. We actually can use also this gray. Okay, anyway, just let's see how it's gonna turn out because mostly of my paintings are experiments. But I think it's cool because developing your style like this and your own vision, just not following strict reference photo and doing some your, your own style, I could say so. So probably something like this. Can I just add a little bit more lighter? Here on the top. And going a little bit here. Okay, I will use brown. brown on the lighter side of our mountain to show some shadows actually it looks almost like black so probably I can add this dark brown on these areas ok comics thank you Just let's see how it's gonna look like. I think I can add some thicker, thicker layer. Over here. area as well and the lower spot a little, a little bit lighter thank you Wayne for joining and for your comment I think I can add some more brown on these areas. And add some lighter gray for our highlights. 
but also not too much because I have to cover it later with our green, uh, yellow and red because of this lava so we have to be careful with layers over here but anyway I must to do some highlights Hi Nisla, thank you for joining. I just had some more grey on this area over here. I think I can leave it like this right now. I need some space for color mixing. So we just clean it here. Okay, I have here space anyway. the hard to understand what exactly colors are there it looks like orange so anyway I'm gonna mix orange with some white probably so we definitely need to add red and yellow Uh, there is so much combinations over there. I think it's kind of red, more red, uh, I will leave this color, I will use it next time, and also have to add some lighter. A little bit more yellow and red again. too white. I'll try to add some white also. It's even more reddish. It's almost like this, but a little bit lighter. So I just add some white.
And have it here away. Probably I need more white because it looks like it's only white over there. Okay, let's put it away also. Probably can be used for some highlights. Try to add some some darker spot what we have here on the red, but it's not like red, it's a little bit lighter. And I will try to add it on top and on this right side. Just hoping it's gonna be okay. So let me just add some more. Also on this area over here, and we'll try to paint some highlights on it as well. So they just add more those lines of lava with this lighter gray or red I mean and I will highlight it after also. So using this orange now. Just important to not put it so much. So I must be careful over here. But I wanna highlight some moment as 
to well. And also some orange on this area. And top area I can actually cover a little bit more. And I will just try to highlight it after with yellow probably it's yellow with white combination so let's just try to use palette knife here because it's a little bit complicated only with brush Plus palette knife can give more texture what I need, a side palette, a side brush. Thank you guys for your comments. So yeah. Let's just drop some more details over here. This is kind of underpainting for lava also. Just don't want to rush on this area. It's easy to spoil. Um, just want to add some more details on this area. Then I will highlight it as well. Especially this area is like lava coming down already. And there is some light spots. On the edge is more like red, I can see. But I wanna, how to say, grind it a little bit with palette knife so it should be like a one object but as you can see with brush I can't do this because it looks like simple dots so let's just use palette knife on these areas Hi Austin, thank you for joining. Thank you Nidla for compliment. Yeah, lava looks hot. I can't even feel it getting hotter here in Rome, so I have to be careful. <laughs> and let's just try to add those highlights, what I mixed here. And I'll try to drop it on some areas of our lava so I will use some more yellow actually it's kind of light yellow what I mixed be dropping it here on these areas
okay, probably something like this and some line over here and I will take this orange again because I wanna do some line from this part of the painting going down And also add a little bit more of this area. And some highlights. And let's try to add some color here. I will try to mix this red with I think I think brown. I will take some brown because I wanna make it a little bit darker. So it's not gonna be so light. And I can drop it in this area. And some parts over here. And again can Add highlights. I want to add some orange as well on this part. And let's just add some more shadows on this area. Here we have to show how to say, I think it's kind of explosion already in this area, so I will just clean some part. I think it's yellow with combination with white I think I'm a little bit complicated here with those colors to understand what exactly is this so it's kind of hard to say but let's experiment so this explosion I just highlight some moments because as we can see there is some white explosion, some lighter yellow I could say, and also same color is on this area, just like a lion. So let's just try to drop it here as well. 
I haven't done this before mixing these colors. I don't remember. And then just drop some lines on this area as well. Just to highlight those moment of lava from both sides. Okay. And let's just drop more orange on this area going down over here even also you can mix it a little, a little bit with this brown what we have is underpainting to make it a little bit darker to show our kind of shadow area because this area is kind of shadow but because of this lava it's also shining so it's hard to say where exactly is our shadow and light but I will highlight the mountain later as well so let's just drop this red color trying to mix it I will try to do some smoke over here on this area. I think it will go somewhere there for just let's do some shape of it. And let's mix it and blend it. This area will you be more darker and here I will add some orange in this part to show some lighter spot from our explosion. I can add even some yellow on this area. And especially here you can drop this lighter yellow combination with white. I think I will use palette knife for this part just to show that it's kind of going up same with this area Oops. we just try to use some brush because I like this brush, blending brush, pretty cool and I have to add orange on this side and try to blend it kind of like this also we'll add some grey this is dark grey for our shadow area 
Actually, we can put it a lot here. And then just highlighted it. I think I will add some white after it on this area. But for now, let's focus on this smoke. What going up there? Actually, can add also black color on this area. Then I can highlight it after. But I think with smoke, this smoke, it's gonna be much cooler. this lighter gray to show highlights. Actually the same combination as for our clouds. I mean the same technique. Just blending and that's it. So we just highlight it. Also in this area it's kinda orange and also can add some yellow just to show that it's kinda I could say reflection from our explosion and here we can add more dark spot on this area probably something like this I can blend a little over here with the explosion I mean and I'm gonna add some more highlights highlights and reflection on the top on our smoke so we just blend it a little bit more so it's not gonna be so bright and we can add also white on this top area And also blending it. Can I just leave it for now like this? even more let's just add some more I thought it's gonna be enough but it's not enough so we'll just add
What if I will add simple right what I used at first? It's a little bit brighter than I mixed. I think so. And I will add a little bit of black. I think over here on this area. Excuse me, someone called me, but I'm busy painting here. So why is he calling me? Hi Rasik, thank you for joining. Thank you nicely for compliment. So we just add some more highlights. This area. And I will add more highlights on the top of our smoke. On these areas as well. And I'm gonna use palette knife right now for this highlight this smoke a little bit. And also some parts over here. Just to make this more a light effect from our lava. So I'm simply using white, putting on our yellow. This area will blend a little bit. And also can add some yellow, what I have mixed already. This area is more like red. So let we'll just try add those smoke. Here. Let's blend a little bit more. Actually, you can blend just with simple touches like this. It's gonna be okay. You know, it's more fine, I think.
Mm, the one I had some splashes also. So I will be using oil thinner. And I will try to use same yellow what I mixed together with oil thinner. And I will try to add some splashes on this area beside our explosion. Let's add a little bit more. And put like this, like there is a lot, so it's gonna be like explosion. And I can use same yellow, just primary yellow, but I used it first to mix other color. Give more highlight effect and put a little bit here, just kind of going down from our mountain. Actually, on this area. I want to change it a little bit from our reference photo. So I will leave it like this and I will add some highlights on our mountain as I want it to. I will just use this lighter gray and mix it together with white. So we just add those highlights. can draw this lighter spot just under our lava. Hi ABC clients, thank you for joining. Yeah, lava is hot, lava is mad. We just add also some grayish over here in this back part of our mountain. And some darker gray over here, this area. A 
and also over here. I'm actually can add this black on this area, just under, show our darker spot, and maybe some other small mountain. Add more lighter gray. Okay. I pre intro again. Mostly of the painting are done. I'll just drop some details on it. Maybe just a, a little bit different from my other paintings what you used to see because it's also a little bit different from me as I said before I never never done this in my previous paintings so yeah it's a little bit different So when I add some, what if I will add, what if I will add just simple yellow on some areas. I just want to add some more highlights over because I still have leftovers of paints and Let's add more details at some part of our mountain. Actually I can use this black to show a little bit more deepness in our mountain at some part especially over here. Because it looks like, like there is no enough depth and I'm simply using this black
even here on this area. I need to add a little bit white because I wanna probably drop some stars the same as I did for lava and I wanna drop some lighter spot over here so let's just mix same white Try to drop it over here a little bit. I need more. Okay, I simply need to add a little bit more white. And also I'm using oil thinner so it can help me to make those splashes oh no, it's better and some points like there are some stars maybe or something Just blend our smoke a little bit more. Thank you, Vanessa. Some highlights again at our smoke on the top. Just some areas. Okay, I think it's gonna be enough right now. Some enough of white and adding some black on this right side. Yeah, at least it looks like heavy smoke. Not just simple smoke from the oven. Okay.
Okay, it's money. Thank you for joining. I'm almost done here with painting. I have to sign. So I'll just put my sign on the mountain. And let's take the scotch tape. So, just a moment, I have to fix my ESA. And the last one, the last one, scotch tape. All right, now we can say it's done. So first time to paint something like this. Probably it could be better at some moment, but have to practice anyway. I just hope that main details are done nice. Yeah, the tape is much. I mean, the more, how to say interesting moment in all paintings to take out the scotch tape so yeah next live stream gonna be wednesday and i'm gonna be painting flower it's orchid i think or orchid also some requested painting and probably i will do some upload maybe just simple upload but anyway, live stream gonna be Wednesday, next Wednesday, yeah, I think 3, 4 p.m. Eastern European time, same as this live stream. And I hope I'm gonna see you again there. So thank you for joining me today and staying here with me and watching the process. I appreciate your help, guys. 
and I will see you soon. Thank you once again and bye bye.